Welcome to Super Healthy. All you want to know about breads. Renowned companies like Britannia and Harvest Gold were using harmful chemicals potassium bromate and potassium iodate far higher than their permissible limit in their breads knowing that they were carcinogenic. Potassium bromate and potassium iodate are used for tweeting flour while making bread. Potassium bromate is a category 2B carcinogen that can possibly cause cancer and potassium iodate is known to trigger thyroid disorder. These chemicals have been banned lately. We have included a link to detailed report by Center for Science and Environment below in the video description. It contains the potassium bromate and iodate levels of all the breads used by your favorite fast food joints like McDonald's, KFC, etc. Also, the longer the shelf life or the best before date of the bread, the stronger the preservatives. There has been no issue raised so far about the bad effects of bread preservatives called the propionates which may not have an immediate adverse reaction but they accumulate in the blood over time and may cause allergic reactions. The controversies leave us confused about which bread to buy and are they really safe to eat? The secret to good bread is how they mill the flour. Always choose breads with 100% whole wheat flour. What makes the whole grain bread tastier and healthier than the white bread? Whole grains are any grain that includes 100% of the original kernel. The whole kernel is comprised of the bran, germ and endosperm. The bran has fiber which is good for digestion and the germ of the wheat kernel has proteins, minerals and B vitamins. White bread only has the endosperm of the wheat kernel which is mainly carbohydrates. They remove the germ in the bread where all the nutrients are lost. The quality of bread also depends upon how long the bread is allowed to ferment. The mass-produced bread for supermarkets is fermented only for about one hour and thus the bread is gummy and non-flavorful. The longer the bread ferments, the more flavor it gets. Slow fermented bread has health benefits. When you let it ferment, it will start breaking down the gluten structure to make it soft for a body to digest. Save yourself from misleading labels such as brown bread, it may not be made from 100% whole wheat, but caramelized or colored instead. Multigrain means a product contains more than one type of grain. Multigrain products may or may not contain whole grains, so be sure to check the labeling. Also, do not be misled by false claims such as goodness of whole wheat or enriched with vitamins. Super Healthy suggests that do not buy any bread even from the local bakeries which do not have the following key points mentioned on the packaging, else they can always mislead you and cheat you. 100% whole wheat bread or 100% whole grain bread. No preservatives. No trans fats. No chemicals such as potassium bromate or iodate. No artificial color, no high fructose corn syrup. In breads, sugar may be in the form of high fructose corn syrup, a type of processed sugar that many people are trying to limit. Well, you still cannot tell how long they are fermenting the bread because it's never written on the label. So why not try to make your own bread at home? How to make it? Combine one tablespoon yeast and two cup lukewarm water. Put half teaspoon salt and one teaspoon sugar. Mix it up. Take two cup whole wheat flour and put two tablespoon oil in it. Mix the yeast mixture in the wheat flour and knead it to get a smooth dough. Cover it with a cloth and leave it for two three hours in a warm place. After two three hours, the dough rises to double its size. Take it out, shape and put it back in bread shaped tin for baking. Glaze it with a little oil on the top. Preheat the oven to 200 degree, then bake the bread at 220 degree for 30 to 45 minutes. It will make slow fermented loaf of bread. You want bread that tastes good and is good for you. May your crust be crisp and bread always rise. Eat super healthy.